All right, budget magic time. Playing some Paradox Engine in Standard. And this hand is reasonable-ish. See how fast our opponent's deck is. Uh, so Island Goo. Opponent has a Spire Bluff and passes. Well, Island Goo. What are we up against? Is this Jeskai Control? Wow, no land? Okay, looks like Jeskai Control. Not sure how this will go. Adventures Fair and Cultivator's Caravan. Is it going to resolve? All right, Caravan down, pass the turn. Opponent passes and discards, jeez. Discards a land. Uh, okay. That must have been some misclicking on our opponent's part. Well, play an island. Nah, let's just reverse engineer. Draw some cards, pass the turn. That was actually not the greatest drawing. I guess if we resolve Hedron Archive, though, things are going to be good. There's an Ether Hub for our opponent. On the other hand, if our opponent just goes infinite, then we're kind of dead. Oath of Jace. All right. Well, not going infinite yet. And it's a sorcery speed thing, so our opponent's going to have to tap out. One, two, three. We'd like to draw land this turn. If we draw a land, we're going to be pretty close to setting up the win. One, two, three, four. Play Hedron Archive. Come on, land off Metal Spinner's Puzzle Knot, please. All right, there's a land. That's good. Now we get to play Cogworker's Puzzle Knot. And we might be able to set up the win for next turn. We'll have to see what our opponent does. Plays a mountain. There's a guardian. <clears throat> this is going to be super close. Can we get the kill? A land would be helpful, I think. We gain a life. Oh, does this do it? Does this do it? Cogworker's Puzzle Knot's fine. So, let's see. We, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think this is gonna work, hopefully. And actually, we don't have to tap the land. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think this does it. So, we're, uh, we're of invention. Three blue, one, two, three, four, five. And I think we have enough mana left that we win. Uh, okay, X5. Our opponent's tapped out, so they shouldn't be able to stop us. We get Paradox Engine. Then we start with Cogworker's Puzzle Knot. Untaps our stuff. We could use more mana. We're not actually coming out too far ahead here. This helps. I think this helps. One, two, tap. Tap, 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 tap. Yeah. So, uh, okay, that puts us down to one blue. But cast this using improvise. That floats two mana. Untaps our stuff. We draw some cards. Lands. All right, make our land drop. One, two, three. Play this, untaps our stuff, target the Paradox Engine. N now hopefully we have it. We could use a Prophetic Prism. Tap, 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 Glimmer of Genius, untaps everything. And we'll keep Cogworker's Puzzle Knot because it actually nets us a mana here. There we go, Cultivator's Caravan is good. Draw a card, tap, tap, tap. Play Cultivator's Caravan, untaps everything. Tap the Paradox Engine, draw a card. And now we are now we have an extra blue mana, which makes it even easier. Tap all of our stuff, play Hedron Archive, untap everything. Draw a card. Metal Spinner's Puzzle Knot, not bad. Tap all of our mana. Yeah, now it's just kind of a matter of playing it out for a minute and we'll have it. Because now we're floating a bunch of mana, so we got there. Metal Spinner's Puzzle Knot. It was close. Untaps everything, draws us a card. Paradox Engine, draws us a card. Tap all of our mana. K 
Cast a Cogworkers Puzzle Knot. Untaps everything. Get a 1-1. One, one, draw a card. There's a word of Invention. Not that we even really need it. I think we just win. Tap, 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 tap. Glimmer of Genius. Untaps everything. Scries, bottom, and top. Draws us a card, draw a card with Paradox Engine, another Paradox Engine, tap everything. Yeah, I think next, uh, after this Hedron Archive, we can do it. Play Hedron Archive. So now we're gaining an insane amount of mana every time we go through the combo. Tap everything. I think our opponent is F6, can't blame them. Play an Ether Flux Reservoir, draw a card. Untaps everything. Tap everything. And our opponent scoops it up. <laughs> we got there. Woo, we snuck past the Felidaire Guardian combo. Just barely. Whoa. Alright, so we know what our opponent's doing. They know what we're doing. How do we fight against Jeskai Copycat? That is the question of the day. Warping Whale was one of the possibilities. Also, counter magic might be important. And Engulf the Shore can actually stop the combo too. Question is, what are we going down? Probably the easiest are Cogworkers Puzzle Knots. It makes our War of Inventions and stuff a little worse, but it's still probably our best option. Uh, maybe one Reverse Engineer. Maybe two Warping Whales. Two Negates. Three to... Maybe two of each? Maybe we just can't bring in that many sideboard cards. Maybe the sideboard should be a little different. What else can we go down? We have to cut one more card. All right, one more Reverse Engineer. Reverse Engineer gets a lot worse without Cogworkers Puzzle Knot. Uh, this is actually pretty reasonable. Get a bunch of two drops that draws cards. We don't have a way to disrupt our opponent yet. But get a bunch of two drops that draws cards, and then we have War of Invention, which is pretty key because it can pressure our opponent at the end of their turn. So Blighted Cataract and Prophetic Prism. Draws us Paradox Engine. We were actually hoping to draw a land there. Opponent plays a tap land. Land? Ay. Uh that's not good. We're left playing a Metal Spinner's Puzzle Knot. Land? Oh boy. That is kind of the worst. I guess we gotta discard the spy. We might just be done for. There's an island for our opponent. Wow. Metal spinners puzzle knot. Oh, deck land. All right, there's a land finally. Yeah, we're super far behind now. Super, super far behind. Like, we could just be dead any moment. Is this glimmer? Yep, there's a glimmer. Opponent keeps one on top. Play is a mountain. And there's the Felidaire Guardian. Blinks the Prairie Stream. Land? Alright, there's a land. Alright, let's just pass. We can always War of Invention on the end of our opponent's turn for Hedron Archive. Alright, there's Anticipate. This also at least gives us the opportunity to counter a Sahili Rai that would kill us since we... We didn't draw any of our Philidor Guardian removal. Bottoms both, so our opponent's digging for their combo by the looks. Plays a tap land. Gets in 4-1. Alright. Well, it's time to War of Invention. X4. Can't get Paradox Engine. Can hopefully get some mana. War of Invention, super important for this deck. Wow, resolves? Does our opponent just not have a counter? Oh, and there's a Warping Whale. Well, things are looking up in our land. One, two, three. And yeah, let's play Cultivator's Caravan. And pass the turn. So now we have Warping Whale and Negate available. All right, opponent Glimmers. And we have one, two, three, four, f one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Close, 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 close to comboing off. There's the Healy Rai. So we need to... Oh man, we might just win next turn. Negate the Sahili Rai. Opponent negates back. Well, if our opponent also has a Dispel, then we're dead. You got the Dispel? 
No! Alright. And now we might just untap and win. That's a realistic possibility here. There's an island. Alright, play the island. One, two, three, four, five. I think this will do it. One, two, three, four, five. Play Paradox Engine. Reverse Engineer. Unless our opponent has a... They would have countered if they could have there. So we got to assume our opponent shields down. Reverse Engineer. Untaps our stuff. Draws us some cards. We get one, two, three. Cultivator's Caravan. Untaps our stuff. One, two, three, four. We don't have card draw, though. Not good card draw. Hedron Archive. Untaps our stuff. One, two, blue, blue. And this means we're probably going to have to start sacking Hedron Archives. Play a, another Hedron Archive. Untaps our stuff. Tap everything. Actually, maybe we should tap those for black to sack our puzzle knots if we have to. How much is that? Three mana? Oh, yeah, it's so expensive. Tap everything. I guess we have the prism, too. Play an extra paradox engine. Untaps everything. So we got a bunch of mana floating. Keep a paradox engine. Sack a hedron archive. All right, there's cultivator's caravan. That's not ideal, but it keeps us going. Tap everything. Play a caravan. We still need more card draw, though. Tap everything. We have plenty of colored mana now, which is nice. Play a caravan. Untaps everything. Sack a hedron archive. Come on, card draw. Well, prophetic prism isn't bad. That gains us a lot of mana. Tap everything. Wow. We are piecing this together, and we might be getting there. Prophetic Prism gives us a bunch of mana, draws us a card. Oh, War of Invention. That's a good one. Uh, so, how much mana do we have? We net one by playing another Paradox Engine. Well, let's tap everything. War of Invention, X4, gets us our Ether Flux Reservoir. Tap, and our opponent scoops it up! Woo! <laughs> oh, move over, copycat. Move over, Sahili Rai. Paradox Engine in the Battle of the Combo Decks, taking down the, the best deck in standard. Wow! Well, we drew our right pieces, and when the deck goes off, it does not fizzle. Like, we went off in a couple of pretty risky situations there, and we still got there. Like, oh man, I'm not saying this deck is great, because it probably isn't, but I am saying this deck is super awesome, and if you... Wow! Oh man, it's sweet. <laughs>